So in this video, we have data being collected from eight students to determine whether there was a negative correlation between their scores in a national exam and the number of hours spent watching TV each week. So we have their exam scores and the number of hours spent watching TV. Conduct a PMCC hypothesis test at the 1% level to determine whether there is evidence to support a negative correlation between their exam scores and the number of hours spent watching TV each week. Okay, so just as we did previously, uh, in the previous video, we need to start off by writing down and defining rho, the population correlation coefficient, and we need to do that in context. So, let rho be the population correlation coefficient between the two variables that we've got. So between uh, exam scores and the number of hours watching TV each week. OK, so we need to write that down first. Then we've got the null hypothesis, H0, which is always rho equals 0. And we've got the alternative hypothesis, which this time we're looking at a negative correlation. And so we're looking for rho being less than 0. Now, we're going to need the PMCC for our data, so the value of R. So let's work that out now. So I'm going to go on to my calculator to work that out. So 205, 236, 158, 9, 11, 16, 15, 18, 13, 10, and 18. Okay, so we should be getting minus 0 0.716 to 3 sig fig. Okay, so that is the sample product moment correlation coefficient. Now, we need to identify our critical value. So for n equals 8, we're looking at a 1% significance level this time. The 1% critical value is... So we go into our formula booklet, and on page 12, left-hand side for the PMCC, we want a one-tail test because it's a negative correlation going in one direction. So you want to go along one tail and then to 1% and then look down that column until you hit n is equal to 8. So that's 0 0.7887. So 0 0.7887. Now, you'll notice that there are no values in your table that are negative. Now, the reason for that is that there's no point giving you two tables, one positive, one negative, and it's just all the same values. So the 1% critical value that we're needing to work with is minus 0 0.7887, because we're looking at the other tail. So think of it like a mirror image, okay? the symmetry of the uh, PMCC between minus 1 and 1. Now you can draw a number line to help you here. Okay, if it's tricky, draw a picky. And if the critical value is minus 7.887, that's somewhere down here for that to be my critical region. So minus 0 0.7887. And my R value is minus 0 0.716, which is somewhere about here. So the, the R value that we calculated is not in the critical region. Minus 0.716 is larger than minus 0.7887. So what we can say is the result is not significant. So we fail 
to reject H0. So if you're not in the critical region, you fail to reject. Now we then need to write a concluding statement that is non-committal. Now for this we can say there is insufficient evidence to suggest that there is a negative correlation between exam scores and the number of hours watching TV each week. So that is what we need to write down to get the marks for our PMCC hypothesis test.